Looking to make a website with online ordering? Let's face it, the future of selling is online. The quickest way to list and sell your products is through a third-party website like Uber Eats for restaurants or Etsy for craftspeople. But these websites don't allow for much customization and they can charge substantial fees on each order. You could create your own online store instead using e-commerce software like BigCommerce or Shopify. These are good avenues for selling, but they are also limited in terms of customization and with adding features as your business grows. If you're looking to build your own website with complex design and functionality, then you may need to hire a developer. But if you want to set up a simple website with online ordering on your own, then keep on watching. I'm Sissy here with Jotform. Let's jump right in. First, you'll have to pick a website builder. If you don't have any experience with website development, then it's best to choose a simple website builder. Websites like Weebly and Wix use drag and drop so you can input text, images, and videos onto each page. It's a good idea to look into the level of technical support that each platform offers in case you need extra help. If you're comfortable with editing code or you plan on working with an expert, then a more robust platform like WordPress will give you access to the source code for full customization. To sell products online, choose a platform that will allow you to add that e-commerce feature. Some website builders require you to use their built-in features or to connect with a limited selection of online store apps. It's a good idea to look out for this before taking the time to set up your website. Next, set up your hosting and a domain name. Web hosting is a service that stores your website and makes it live on the internet for others to see. Good hosting will help your website load quickly and give visitors a smooth experience. Some website builders include hosting for free and some you may have to pay a small monthly fee. These services will also let you buy a unique website address or domain name. Next, create a professional looking design for your website. Never underestimate the impact of a well-designed online ordering site. If your website looks unprofessional, then people will be less likely to put in their credit card information and make a purchase. Many website builders have a range of design themes that you can use as a starting point, then you can customize them with text, images, videos, and color schemes. And don't forget that 56% of Google searches take place on a mobile device. So pick a theme that's mobile responsive and check that your site is readable on a smaller mobile screen. Once you have your website ready, it's time to add your ordering system. You have two main options here, plugins and apps or online forms. Plugins or apps are pieces of software that connect with website builders to provide extra features. WooCommerce and Equid are e-commerce plugins that allow you to add a catalog of products to your website and create individual product pages. To add a plugin, you just have to choose from your website builder's directory, follow the instructions for installing it, and start adding product details. Alternatively, you could embed an order form on your website. Customers are able to pick the options that they want, set up a delivery date and time, then add any special requests all in one page. With an online form builder like JotForm, you can paste the embed code into your website where you want your form to appear. JotForm has free online ordering templates that you can fully customize to suit your business, including forms for restaurants, catering companies, and florists. Now it's time to connect a payment platform. Since online payments can be a minefield of sensitive information and legal restrictions, it's a good idea to outsource payments to the experts and integrate with a bigger payment processor. They will also have better security than a small business owner, so it's worth any extra percentage that they charge for their services. Most plugins and online form builders are able to connect with a wide range of online payment processors. For instance, JotForm connects with dozens of payment gateways like PayPal, Stripe, and Square. Before taking any payments, you'll need to create an account with the payment gateway that you chose and connect it with your plugin or form builder using the payment setting options. The final step is to create your call to action, especially if you're promoting your website and using ads to drive traffic. You'll need a good call to action to drive your potential customers to make a purchase. A call to action is the text that invites a potential customer to take an action.
It could be order for pickup or subscribe now. Your call to action should be included prominently on your website so it catches your visitors' attention. Be sure to link it in your order form or product catalog. This will help people find what they are looking for with the fewest amount of clicks as possible, which will also make it easier for customers to make a purchase. So once you've set up online ordering, what comes next? Many people think that after they set up online ordering, they will start getting orders right away. This usually isn't the case. It's important that you promote your products and your brand. Focus on building your search engine optimization and online marketing to bring more customers to your website. Okay, let's review the steps to create a website with online ordering. First, pick a website builder, then set up hosting and a domain name. Then create a professional looking design because if your website doesn't look professional, then people are less likely to input their payment information. Then add your order form, connect a payment platform, and create your call to action. By following these steps, you'll have your online store set up in no time. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm Sissy here with Jotform. See you next time.